Hello, welcome to our today's math class. We are in chapter 7 that is decimal. In our previous class, we have learned about decimal and we have learned to convert decimal into fraction. So today, we will learn to convert uh, fractions into decimal, okay, which is given in our exercise 1B number. Let me write the question here. First of all, that is of exercise 1 B uh, it is said that convert to decimal M A L S okay one number question first of all four whole number one by ten it is in mixed fraction form so first of all we have to convert it into improper fraction that is 10 fours are 40 plus 1 by 10 so where to put decimal yeah this is the question you know that after decimal after decimal we have tens And then hundreds and then thousands and so on so we put decimal before one's digit see this is 41 in one's place we have one we put decimal before one's digit that is one this means uh, this means uh, 1 is taken out of 10 yeah 10 we have in a denominator we have 10 so we put decimal before the digit at one's place let me write the another question here that is question number 2 okay 56 whole number 2 by 100 First of all, let us convert it into improper fraction. That is, uh, uh, when you multiply 156, you will get 5,600. And when you add 2, that will be 5,602 by 100. Okay. 5, 6. So, where to put 0? If you put 0, then here must be uh, 10 in denominator, isn't it? If you put decimal before 2, then here must be 10 in denominator. But we have 100 in denominator. So we put 10. So we put decimal before the digit at 10's place. Once 10's, 10's place. This means hundred in the denominator yeah this means the hundred in the denominator that is why we put uh, decimal before the digit of tens place what if yeah what if five six zero two five thousand six hundred by thousand we put decimal before six here five point six zero two because we have 100 here in denominator so uh, decimal before 0 if we have 100,000 uh, as a denominator then we put decimal before 6 that is the digit 800 place okay so now exercise 3 okay Exercise 3 here, it is said that write the following in expanded form. In expanded form. Here we have a question here. 34 decimal 678 now we have to expand okay 
we have to expand 34 means 30 plus 4 yeah 30 plus 4 now after the decimal we have three digit six seven and eight you know that this six is in tenths place after decimal six is in tenths place so six by ten seven is in hundreds place so seven by hundred eight is in thousands place so eight by thousand okay eight by thousand so let's do one more question that is of b number 5.908 5.908 5 plus 5 is the whole number so 5 plus 908 9 by 10 but here we have 0 no need to show for the 0 but here 8 is in thousands place so 8 by thousand understood so let's do exercise another exercise that is exercise 4 okay in exercise 4 we have to convert uh, into a standard form okay into a standard form right the following in a standard form let me write the question here that is question number uh, C okay 300 plus 7 plus 7 by 100 300 plus 7 it is 307 but here we have 7 by 100 as a fraction yeah fraction so we put decimal we do not have uh, the fraction which uh, have the denominator 10 yeah and thousand we do not have the fraction which have the denominator 10 so we put zero here and then we have the fraction 7 by 100 so we put 7 307.07 okay one more example here uh, that is of d number okay Eighty plus four plus four by thousand. Eighty plus four it is eighty four. Now we do not have uh, the fractions having the denominator ten and hundred. Yeah, so we put decimal and zero in tens place again zero in hundreds place because we do not have the fraction having the denominator ten and hundred. That is why. And at last we have the fraction 4 by 1000 so we put 4 in the thousands place thousands place okay so this is how we solve the exercise of uh, four questions here okay so i hope all of you understood uh, what i taught today okay the rest of the question you try to do yourself so for today is only this much bye bye